Yo, what's going on guys in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make your 5m server everything that you need to know as far as getting server files what you need for hosting what you need for the sql everything that you need to know i will try to cover in this video if you have any questions leave it down in the comments let's get right into it so here we have zap hosting as an example for your vps so you have the linux windows and just a normal game server so basically, a VPS would be a fully separate computer that you can log in remotely and run it off of their computer. And it's not as easy to set up as the second method, but it's not as bad of a price and really not terrible. Um, you, there's usually not many benefits to it but you can there might be more options than the other option so you can choose all the cores that you want how much ram you want how many ips all the disk space there's a lot of options and it really does add up though once it all you know you want like eight cores 16 gigs of RAM, 50 gigs of storage, and you can see it's it's adding up. Um, we have 28 a month. That's not not bad. Let's go to the Vive Games hosting. So this is just a hosting where they give you like a panel, and you can select how much you want for their specs. You you see. 12 gigs of RAM, which is a pretty good amount, four cores. And this would be a, a pretty decent one, and it's 40 euros. I'm not sure why these are in euros, but but you could probably get off with probably this one. And, you know, it's about the same amount, but it's easier. Um, it's definitely a lot easier than the VPS. I would choose this over it personally just because it's really easy to set up and you don't really need windows so now that you've got your hosting of choice and there's a ton of those out there now you need your files your actual game files so there's this site that i'm on that's just docs5m.net there's just a lot of cool setup and makes things a lot easier so um what you need is a key you can get this at cfx key master um you can wait on that but you definitely will need that and then you'll need your actual files so you can go through ex and they'll actually give you some base files or you can go through 5m and actually get your base files or there's a lot of other ways to get files as far as leaks and a lot of other ways there's a lot of different ways to get files just find files you can find some that tailor to what you need like a server or a or die server or a 1v1 server something in those lines but basically you just need to find files there's multiple ways to do that leaks that uh, ex admin or go to five of them's website and they'll have five and that's a whole separate video the how you install the vanilla fx server files from five let me use these files to show you guys what you need to do after you get your files your hosting and you'll get your key from keymaster.com and you'll head over to your cfg your server.cfg and you'll see somewhere it will probably be either at the top or at the bottom um basically you just need to paste it where it says sv underscore license key here usually has quotes around it sometimes it doesn't uh, it doesn't really matter some servers just like and then there's not much more you need to do to set up if you have a windows vps then you'll have to do some stuff with this you'll have to set up with your ip and stuff but if you have like five games 
usually you'll just be able to, it'll set her up on its own. That's what pretty good about those. Sometimes TX admin also does it on its own. Then another thing you have is enforce game build. Do that. That is game build. Also in maybe vibe games, you can manually set it and it'll do it all for you. And it'll always stay there. Well, different for Windows VPS. That's what I'm saying. A little more difficult. You have to know what you're doing, but it could be worth it in the long run. But <clears throat> not much more to set up in here. That's about it. You shouldn't have to change these. You have your server slots. Your server slots, you'll need your Steam Web API key. And that's really it. Just make it your name, the server in here, and not much else. Just add your resources, and that's all you need with your CFG. Then, obviously, you like every single other server in your resource folder. You just drag your resources, go to, back to your CFG, add them in, and that's about it. Then you will need Heidi SQL, and you will have to make a database. And with the like Vibe games, super simple. You can just create your database in there. It's really, really easy. And then you just add it in here. You put in your password, username, host IP, and then you hit open. And then you can import your database that either is given to you or you can make your own. A lot easier just to have a pre-made one. That's all you really need to know about the SQL for like hosting a panel. But for Windows, and that's what I was talking about with the CFG. You need to know a little bit more. You have to actually put it in there because it won't do it for you and then you have to just have your ip your username you may or not need to make a password you don't have your but panels definitely much easier than vps's but just again perfect personal preference then you guys should be ready to go in your server journey hopefully it goes well peace out see you guys in the next one subscribe if you liked next time